Well, guys, here we go. We are going to get out there at about noon today. It's kind of a chilly morning, 28 degrees. Got a little snow last night. Stuff's starting to freeze up. But Sasha said, get out of the house. Go fishing. There ain't much time left. So I called Pete, and you know what Esther said. Get out of here. You're driving me nuts. Go. So... We are off. We're going to go to a clear body of water, try for one big fish. That's always the goal, get a big one. And uh, this time of year, you're going to go out there and do it. We're going to go after a big one. We're going to, we're going to hit a big clear body of water, and hopefully it'll pay off for us. Let's see what happens. Pete, you made it. I made it. Yeah. And it's, it's beautiful. There's snow on the ground, ice coming on the lakes. I got a brand new truck I can't afford. But isn't, that, isn't this truck nice? Very nice. It's warm in here. We're incognito today because the Amsoil wrap's not on there yet, but it'll be coming. It'll be coming. Yeah. Yeah. I even brought my pink hat. Oh no, you ain't got nothing to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> no complaining today. <laughs> I got everything I need. I said that was there this year. He got a he got a 55. That's a kid. Yeah. And Doug Johnson got a 55 and a half was his biggest ever, and that was <laughs> Hold on, I was uh I was talking to the fish. How does he feel Nice one. Oh yeah. you get off? No. It's about uh 46. I would say. Real nice fish. Oh real nice. Look at that. That's actually a 48, ain't it? Oh, it's a dandy. 47? Very nice one. Very nice fish. How did you like that hook, sir? I loved it. I mean, got a little fall action in there, Is that good or not? Got him in the bag, buddy. <laughs> oh. Well, it's kind of funny. Because we were just complaining that's literally the first action all day which is I don't know only two and a half three hours got out here at the crack of noon but this time of year that's just the way it is we were talking uh, what is it it's three o'clock four o'clock was supposed to be a major so we were thinking well maybe we got to wait till then but all of a sudden this sucker just went off and that is a dandy. I'm breathing hard after nice. falling down, being a big klutz. It's, it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You actually put the pink hat on just a little bit ago. Oh, I forgot about <laughs> it. Yeah, we should. My great sponsor, Amsoil, who I love. I had an Amsoil hat, but it kept sliding up, like trying to stand on top of my head. So I went to the pink hat 
could be the lucky hat. I have to say, I've caught many muskies with this hat on and netted many. Get a hold of this guy. I don't think he's quite done uh, with the whole idea of fighting. Oh, come on now. Let's not get ridiculous. It's about a 47, I'd say. I think he might be bigger than that, old pal. That's yeah. a beauty. Actually. <laughs> Dude, that's a beauty. It's a big head. Oh, that it's a nice a fish. Big head. Man. <laughs> That is a dandy dude. Yeah. Let's see if we can get him to open his mouth there a little bit. Some nice choppers. <laughs> All fatty. I'll tell you what, he's actually good. Dude, that's a freaking fat fish. <laughs> yeah. What a pig. Yeah, it's actually probably is a four footer, dude. Oh, he's a dandy. We needed that, Pete. That'll do. Oh, yeah. Gosh, look at the back. What a pretty fish. That is so cool. Oh, no, I must have got us off. Uh, she wants to go. I'm not going to do anything fast. I can feel that kick. Now she's going to do something fast. Well, dude, you got a camera in your hand, but yeah, fist bump, fist bump, high five, everything. We got her. No, yeah, that that is so cool though. When you you know you get out here and you feel like there's not a fish in the lake, and obviously I've been doing this for years and years and years, and over three. Ooh, we got a nervous sucker maybe right here. We should probably stop talking and get back to fishing right now. But uh, anyway, out of the blue. All of a sudden it can happen when literally you don't think there's a fish in the lake. So hope it's a window and that's not the last bite. Hey, you got a little excitement in the voice. I like Oh, that. I got a lot. <laughs> and I'm bleeding. I love that. You got a boy. It's all Please good. Pete. <laughs> boy, that was a good fish. That was exciting. Yeah. I mean that was that was fun. Everybody loves seeing those big giant fish like that. And, we're hopefully, you know, we got a uh, window, like Pete said earlier, at about 4 o'clock, and we're coming up on that time, and maybe we'll get another shot in another one. That's That would be fun. So either way, we capitalized today. So we're going to show a sucker rig here. We're, we're happy at this point because I'm bleeding because we actually caught one. We, uh, I like to use a rubber band system with the rig going through the nostrils. The leader material is a 130 pound test Seaguar Brazex, but you can see the rubber band there and the homemade bait needle. So you're gonna, you're gonna punch that through and then you actually wanna give a bit of a snap to pull that rubber band all the way through. And then pinching it between your knees looks very, very silly. And I get some odd comments about it at times, but it's the best way to go to control that sucker. I give two wraps, and then I go back in between the rubber band and the sucker's head. And then I have uh, two separate stinger leads. One is always longer than the other. Put on the snap, close the snap. And this, uh, we got one hook of the three on the treble that sticks straight back. That one will go underneath the skin and back out so they rip out easy. There we go. And generally right, right around that uh, dorsal fin there is good. And then the other one I, I place about halfway in between the sucker's gill plate and the dorsal fin. They're generally gonna try and grab the bait by the head and kill it. Head and body, you can see you there again, that's just kind of down underneath the skin and back out again. And then that whole system, when you, you, know, you know, try and set the hook absolutely as quickly as possible with the fish moving away. So if it happens to be that he's clicking away immediately, just Grab the rod, set the hook as fast as you can, 
If not, get right over the top of them. Set the hook right over the top of them, or if they're moving one way or the other, you set in the opposite direction. They are fun. There's nothing more exciting than that, uh, that hook set, by the way. Because you really don't know. There's, there's basically three things could happen. The, the worst is you swing and the quick strike rig goes flying over your head. Or you swing and you hook them and it's a little disappointing because the fish is light. I've actually launched small muskie and pike right in the boat setting the hook. And then once in a while you set the hook and nothing moves. That's really what you want. A couple of head shakes. Big old fish. Where was he hooked? There was one there was one right here and then one kind of in the top of the head. But there was only there was only one hook in that fish. Literally one of the, you know, the stinger obviously with two points. But that's all it takes, you know, this time of year. There's there's nothing to really throw, so as long as they're not jumping, you're you're generally not going to lose those fish. You'll either eat, lose them immediately or you'll catch them. We are running out of light, which <laughs> this time of year in November, it is amazing. It's not even quite five o'clock yet, running out of light here today. We got started about uh, 1230. A uh, beautiful day for actually what we're doing, trying deeper ranges, trying to find a trophy fish. Uh, we can work the boat without the wind really well and what we did a lot of today is just uh, changing changing depths and, and structure. We tried everything from some boulder areas to uh, sand grass. Uh, there's quite a few cribs in this body of water as well in, in, in different levels. So uh, tried to pattern things a bit, doing a lot of zigzagging on the structures today to try and get to all the different cribs and the different levels and different things we tried. At the end of the day, there was just one lousy hit, but it was a dandy. And it actually uh, came a little before we expected it. We were kind of hoping it was going to be on a major, but whatever, it came, and that's typical late fall stuff. We really thought we were going to get another shot here actually in the major on one of the best spots with a lot of different cribs and some hard bottom here. We've, we've had nothing other than one sucker scare. So that's the way it is in late fall, but you know, any, any time you catch a big beautiful fish like that, uh, you know, fish over a 30 pound class, it's, it's worth it. And we'll keep doing it again because we're stupid. Even even when it doesn't happen, it freezes, blow freezing. Dave's been plucking ice out of his line all day. Anybody that was out, any normal person that would have been in the boat today would say we're both crazy until we caught that musk. And then, who's crazy? You could be sitting inside watching the TV getting dumber or out here on the water trying to catch a muskie. Muskies do suck. <laughs>